All right, construction cronies, welcome to another metal stud framing video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys a little bit about framing bulkheads. So right away, first thing you're going to do is you do your layout on the ground. You, if you can see the snap lines, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Do your layout on the ground and laser it up. You've seen the first laser there with the 90 on it. We're running uh, two two line lasers, okay? We're using one for the uh, for the line, okay, and one for the elevation. Simple as that. Right now, the one for the elevation is set to exact elevation, and I'll tell you why we do that in one second. We put the, the top track in. You shoot it every 16 inches for 3 and 5 eighths. If you're doing 6-inch six uh, six bulkhead, put two shots in every 16 inches. So what Murat's doing right here is he's, he's got the laser, like I said again, set to perfect elevation. And what you want to do is leave a quarter inch in the top and the bottom. So you, you measure tight and take a half inch off. The most important thing is, is to have that quarter inch on the bottom so that the bottom track doesn't get pushed down below elevation. That is the most important factor here. Okay, so Murat's measuring it as he goes. When we're installing the top track, we're drawing our center, 163248, as we install every piece. And you can see Murat's cutting and installing them as we go. Most ceilings and roofs are sloped, so all of these studs are different sizes, okay? Like, literally, they're about, uh, I think on this one, it was like three-eighths uh, difference every stud, okay? So, unfortunately, not all the time you get away with uh, cutting them the same size. It's very, very rare in a bulkhead, B unless you're doing it on, like, a main floor of a two-story building. That's the only time you get a level floor above you, okay? But if it's a Q-deck or the roof above you, guarantee you it's sloped. So check all of your studs. So he's cutting them. This is Murat doing this whole bulkhead by himself, basically. Okay, I don't really help him until the end. You can see the one stud there hanging down as a brace. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave them down below in the comments. I get back to everybody, guys. So here we go. He's setting in the, the his first piece of, of bottom track. And the important thing to note it here is, stop for a second, is when we're, it's, it's, this is a very, very important step. No matter what, the first stud on the bulkhead has to be secure to something. You can see he's screwing it into this top track here. Uh, but if there is nothing to screw it into, like even I still probably maybe would have added a clip between the two studs at the bottom here, right at the very bottom, and I would have screwed it into the track and the clip. But this is very, still very, very strong. Okay. But going forward, maybe add that little clip at the bottom as well. Then you have two pieces of structure uh, to uh, secure your stud to. Okay, it's important so that this bottom track here doesn't move. Right, that is the that is the that is important. We don't want it. We do not want that to move. So he's got now. It all another important step to remember is uh, when you're first putting in your studs in, you want your uh, your line laser to be at elevation so you can cut it a half inch short. But when you're doing your bottom track here, you want to move your laser down two inches and have a two inch offset. And you can see he's got the laser card there. The beauty thing, the beauty about the laser card is you, it, it, you can use it to square both sides. Okay. So you make sure that the line laser is perfectly on that line and both sides of the track will be square. He's clamping in the front side here and uh, screwing it in. And that's, that's it. Okay. He, you're, he's going to, he doesn't have to use his square now to square it across. Okay, so the 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 the, the line laser, like the plane li lane, the plane line is perfect. So we, we're we're here watching that as you're doing your elevation. You want your bottom track to be on that uh, plumb line, okay, as well as the uh, ho as the elevation line. So here you go. He's screwing it all in. It's secure. Uh, using your clamps, using the card. It's all good stuff. Mainly, guys, you're going to learn a lot just by watching us, okay? I, I'm, I'm trying my best to, to teach you guys everything I can. Uh, the time has been so limited lately. It's crazy. I wish I could do more videos. I really do. I need, I need like, anyway, so we, we've taken our centers. For, uh, we, we, if you don't have the, a level wall to go off for your centers, just use a line laser and get that first 16 or a plumb laser. Like, well, I'll draw my, cent my 16s on the ground and then plumb them up. So what you want to do, is get your your studs plumb and as you put in your bottom track you're also plotting out your bottom centers your 163248 blah 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 okay and here you go using that card is critical it's so awesome so easy if you put your line laser right at elevation when you're doing your track 
it's going to be tough, okay? Because you're not always going to be able to see it, and like you know, like, you're kind of limited on what side you can you can shoot it on. So doing a two inch offset gives you a clean run, and you can square both sides. It's beautiful, right? So look, you see him. He's just, he's using his hand just to uh, gloves, of course, just to pinch it and hold it at elevation, and he screws it in. And it's perfect, okay? Um, if you can't do that, just use a clamp. So now. Stop for a second. You see where he's using his square there? This is the end of the wall right here, okay? There's going to be another piece of track. It's going to come this way and tie into this back wall here, okay? So he's run his track long, and the, the line laser here, he's, he's literally going to draw a line and cut it. You'll see here in a second, okay? So he didn't have to actually do a measurement. He just put the track on. It's long, and he cuts it back. It's beautiful, okay? This is a good way to do it. Just keep an eye on him. Just watch this guy. Watch, watch, watch. Murat's a really good framer. This guy is like the framing bulkhead ceiling master guy. Like, um, you guys are going to see a lot more of him, I bet. And we got some crazy ceiling bulkhead jobs coming up, like with T-bar and bulkheads and stuff. It's going to be insane, guys. Just wait till you see what ha what we got coming. It's got These jobs are just getting bigger and crazier. It's going to be awesome, guys. We're getting a good name around town. Uh, lots of guys are, are calling us, so uh, yeah, yeah, we got lots of work coming, man, lots of work. We're so booked right now. We're booked solid, guys. It's crazy. But yeah, you see that right there? So just to, just to pause for a quick second there, uh, let me back it up to also for a second. Uh, it's the same thing as like a corner, okay? Uh, we're overlapping our tracks on the, uh, the bottom, 100% for sure, and at the top, what we're doing is you see the ribs in the in the Q deck. I hope you guys can see the yellow marker up here, the ribs in the Q deck. We're putting clips in between the flutes, okay? They're going to overlap the flute. We screw it in the clip. Uh, sorry, we screw the clip into the flute, and then the track we screw into the clip. If you can see that. Hopefully, you guys can see that. If you guys have any questions, please ask, okay? But, yeah, we're putting clips every, like, 16 inches again this way. But in, if you're lucky enough to land on the flute, you can screw it directly to the flute and you don't need clips. But that is, you know, like that's just luck when that happens. So uh, that's that. So you can also see here as well the, the clip between the studs on the bottom right there. Okay, you got a clip there and that's for this stud. Okay, you're going to screw it into the top track and this clip. So you got two places that it's secure on the bottom and then it's screwed in at the top. It's beautiful. Okay, so hopefully you guys understand it. If you guys have any any questions so far, please let me know. I, ho I hope you're you're catching this as well. This is like a good tips and tricks video, and there's a lot more to this bulkhead coming, guys. So, um, also, okay, we you can see our uh, bracing here. Okay, the T bar is gonna finish uh, like I think it's like three inches above on this side. So there's only a three inch reveal here. And the T-bar on the inside finishes flush to the bottom. So we're building this huge bulkhead for simply a 3-inch return. Uh, and the T-bar will be all out here, and T-bar will be in here. So it's it's a little, it's a crazy, right? But anyway, so you got your line laser. Um, and as you're going along doing your bottom track, guys, you don't want to uh, put your two screws in your track joints uh, until you got everything on the line and you know it's perfectly straight and then you're putting two screws in the bottom putting screws in the sides and you got these braces coming down right making sure that you're perfectly level it's uh it's it's just use lasers and 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 use like uh just think about it guys okay everything has to be braced and strong just just pay attention look at look at we're putting like you got three braces on that 20 foot long bulkhead you got three but three braces okay and then here he is doing the inside one now this is a bigger one so what he's doing is he's is he's putting his top track in and we're putting uh or i like to screw both sides of this top track uh in so what i mean by that is i like to screw in the the track even if it's three and five two on every single flute okay every flute that way it doesn't bend in whatsoever and your elevation is going to be perfect every time i'm on the ground here helping him on this one okay because this is near the end of the thing i i hurt my back on this job and Murat just a uh, Murat just was amazing helped help just picked up and did just helped out so much this is i love working with this guy he's great guys um He's super healthy in mind and body and soul, and he's a knowledgeable guy. He's just, he's really fun to work with. I really like him. 
So you guys just, yeah, just pay attention and check out his Instagram, Safari Sunday on Instagram. I'll, 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 I'll leave a link in the video description as well. So Safari Sunday on Instagram. That's Murat's Instagram. But yeah, bakers are the worst. I I refuse to do this. By the way, I don't even. I would not. I do not work on bakers anymore. I will work on bakers, but like I I will every day of the week prefer a full scaffolding over baker. Uh, but yeah, you can see. And then when you're doing uh, top track, that's that's uh, on the flute like that. You don't have to overlap your top track. Okay, you always have to un overlap the bottom, but you don't have to overlap the the top track. And and try to make it so that your studs. Uh, never land on the joint, okay? Uh, cut your track to make it so that they don't land on the joint. And that's the beauty of having 10-foot track, okay? It doesn't land on a 16. It's beautiful. So, yeah, it's it, it's uh, it's just a really fun job. We're doing getting good at these subways. This is, this one here is the second subway we did. So we've already done this before, and uh, it's beautiful. Now we know what we're doing, okay? And uh, cutting your studs, okay, guys? Like, you, if you guys need to know how to cut the studs, just make sure you use your, your red-handed snips, your right-handed snips, and you're always keeping um, the piece you're keeping in your left hand and the cutters in your right. That's simple as that, okay? Always keep your the same. Cut the same. The piece you're keeping always in your left hand, and you're cutting with your right. Simple as that, guys. So he's going to calm down. We're, he, we've checked the elevations on this one, so he, he can't verify because of the baker. If you're on a lift, you can go up and down and verify. So what he's going to do is when we when we tear down this baker, we're going to double check to make sure that we got a quarter inch, at least a quarter inch. Okay, you want a quarter inch? Three, it's actually max. So you're, you're there's a very slim margin of error there. Okay, but a uh, quarter inch is perfect above that um, above the elevation line. So this is where the subway sub sandwiches are going to be made. Is in here. This is the main server area. And uh, there's like, you know, there's like the soda machines and all that are going to be in here. It's uh, it's quite something. It's, it's beautiful jobs. Love these jobs, man. But um, we got a big physiotherapy clinic and dental offices. Oh, man, we got crazy stuff coming. So here we go. We're tearing down the baker now to the next level. And uh, when that's done, he's going to go back and he's going to verify that he's got that quarter inch uh, elevation. So the studs are not uh, hanging, hanging too low. Right there, you go. See, he's trimming some. Right, that's the that's the that's the bummer of using a baker. Okay, you having to trim your studs at the end. But you'll see, he goes along and he trims all his studs, and then he moves it down right there, the two inch offset. Now he's gonna double check and make sure he's got the two inches, and the uh, the studs are mint. So same thing. That first stud is tied in. So when he puts his track in, see that he's already laid out his centers, his sixteens, because we know we know that the the wall that we're coming off of is plumb. So we can simply just draw the same center, 16, 32, 48 from the, on the top and bottom. But you draw it as you go. And I, I, I like how he does this, actually. You know? And then this header is at the same level as well, this door header, because they have a, a black trim that goes all the way along this bulkhead and uh, over this uh, header, this door opening header, and down the side. There's no door here, actually. This is just an opening. But, yeah, that card is amazing because it, it, it just... Yeah, I love the two-inch offset, and, and you don't have to use your square, right? You just make sure that that green line is on that solid line. You're cutting fishtails here to um, – you're cutting fishtails, which is two inches up the middle of the track, and you're overlapping them. So you just have to put the fishtail in the one end and clamp the other and check your elevations. Set your studs in the, at the uh, the middle, like the the one ends, the middle, and uh, and the or sorry, the ends in the middle, and you're golden, okay. And this one's easy enough. He just has to measure it into the into that wall that's dropped. But there you go. And there's that header at the end there. All this bottom track is on. You can see the fishtails. He's gonna set the line perfectly. We're gonna bra we're bracing right now and just setting that last one. And then you can see it's not straight yet. And that one's perfectly straight. But once we get the uh, the bracing in and we have a couple other like these little walls coming in. Um, let me just show you here. We have these little like uh, other other returns coming into this wall. OK, this is getting straight by just by using these little walls. OK, so we don't have to use braces that these are the braces. And then at the end we're then we're finally when it, we know this bottom track is straight on the line. 
Okay, that's when we're finishing screwing off like the overlaps and like the fishtails and stuff like that. Okay, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys are learning something here. Let me know what you guys have learned, or, or if you haven't learned something, you missed something. Please let us know, man. Let us know what's going on. I love to teach you guys. I would love to improve. I can't improve unless you tell me what's up, man. Good or bad, I don't care, guys. I I am good with uh, constructive criticism. Good or bad, man. All right, and then you see here we have angle. Uh, this is just angle and furring bar drywall ceilings okay that is acting as the bracing for this front bulkhead uh the t-bar is going to finish across flush from this bulkhead into this bulkhead and it, of course it's gonna be it's gonna be uh like the elevation is gonna be perfect right and then we have this big reveal here and then this is where the hood fan goes there's this, this is where the pop machines go in here so there's lots going on and you got to be exact with these measurements especially when you're doing a restaurant you have to be exact because the food equipment comes and it you can't like you got to make sure the food equipment fits guys but yeah guys that's that's it man that's the that is the vault bulkhead video some more tips and tricks from construction cronies please hit the like button subscribe hit the bell notification icon guys if you have any questions at all please leave them down below in the comments i love you guys i appreciate you all so much the support has been incredible we've hit over 100,000 watch hours on the channel 1.4 million views Let's get it, boys. Let's go. Let's show the world Steel Stud is boss. And share my channel up. Let's kick the carpenter's butts, guys. Steel Stud rules. And this video, watch this one next. Love you guys. Peace.